Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I went into the bank today um, uh, to test if I could withdraw up £2,500. And as you guys remember last time, a few weeks ago, I recorded another video where I went into another bank and I successfully withdraw, drew £1,000 without any questions. And I used this camera on my chest to record that video. Well, I did the same again this time with the same camera and I had a different interaction as last time. So, um, this video was originally inspired by uh, 365 Days of Silver, so I'll link this video in the description, and I'll link my first video about the bank in the description as well. So, I'm going to show you the footage in a minute. I um, went to the bank to withdraw 2500 so I'm going to blur the logo of the bank and the faces of the cashier, and you'll see what happened. Um, I was pretty shocked with what happened, so anyway, um, here's the footage. So I'm going to go withdraw £2,500 from um, this bank. <laughs> bank. Let's see what happens. Last time I withdrew £1,000 from NatWest and it was all good, nothing bad happened. They let me withdraw it, so let's go in. Hello, um, could I withdraw um, 2,510 pounds? Yeah, pop yes, the card okay. Do I show my ID? Yes, yeah, but pop okay, the card in yeah. first. Okay. It should ask for the pin. And you'd like how much? Two thousand five hundred and ten. Ten thousand. Yeah. Okay. And is there any way we can do this as a transfer for you, rather um, than give you the cash? No, I need the cash to pay someone. Um, but I need the cash. Yeah. Yeah. Has anyone asked you to take this money out or told you your money's unsafe at Santander? No. 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 Well, who are you paying? What's the money for? Uh, just for some home improvements, just the bill that I need to pay. Yeah. yeah. She wants it in cash. So as you can see, I just made up some random um, um, excuse for withdrawing my money. In, rea in reality, there shouldn't be, there shouldn't have to be a reason to withdraw your money. It should because it's your money. You should be able to withdraw money without question. And have yeah. they got an invoice for the building work or? Uh, yeah, but I haven't got it on me. But yeah, just because it's a lot of cash just to give out. Yeah. And if obviously you lose it or. Yeah, yeah. So do you know the builders? Have you met them before? Yeah. Have they done the work? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you sure? Yeah, yeah. 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 Okay. Yep. Yeah. And I'll just give you that back. Okay, My thank you. I'm just going to pop round and have a little chat with you in the office. Okay, yeah, okay? yeah. Yep, okay. We'll be here for later. Yep. Hi, Hello. 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 Yeah, Come yeah, come in. Yeah, yeah. Just wanted to double check you felt alright. Yeah, yeah, I'm alright, yeah. So, when you get in the office, Caleb, you've got to yeah. go okay. in the house. Yeah. How are you doing? You right? Good, yeah, good, yep. Good. I was going to say, I'm Sarah. Yeah. Um, I just wanted to double check that you felt all right about the Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have a lot of scams happening, and scams are basically yeah, where yeah, yeah. are people being tricked. There's a lot of online scams happening. too, yeah, these all days. Sorts, all sorts. Yeah. We, I've seen lots and lots of scams in my time, and there's just a few things that obviously make us a little bit worried about that. And, yeah, yeah. And we have a duty of care to protect you and, and your account. So yeah. um, I wondered if I could just ask you a couple of questions about the payment. And, 
it's really, really important that yeah, you're yeah. honest with me. There's, you know, you're not never yeah, yeah. in any trouble whatsoever. But if you're not honest with me, then I'm going to struggle to be able to to protect you and get yeah, what yeah, you yeah. need. Yeah. So, um, you said that the payment was for home improvements. Yeah. Well, it's for it's for mainly that, but it's also just to have cash on hand too, in case I need it whenever I want. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I hear you. I hear you. You've got a debit card. Yeah. That you can get cash from at any ATM. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, obviously the the money is a is a big amount. And, yeah, yeah. And my colleague mentioned that it would be all of the money that you have with us. Yeah, yeah. You know, to me, having money out and going into an overdraft potentially. So that was the moment the uh, camera died, I didn't get, get the rest of the video, but eventually she didn't actually let me get the 2500 out. Um, uh, I had to, I had to speak to her for like a, an hour, just getting nowhere really, just, she just kept asking me questions about whether I'm getting scammed or not. She was saying that they've seen a lot of scams recently, so she was just worried that I was getting scammed, but that's not the real reason. The real, real reason is that they don't want us to withdraw our cash. So it shows that having money in gold and silver is is a very good decision because any moment I can go to the back to the coin shop or any gold shop and just sell these coins and get cash immediately. Whereas if you go to your bank, some banks don't even give you the cash, like that bank I, I just went to. But she said that she could give me the cash, but first she would have to um, call the police to come ask me some questions and then maybe she will be able to give me some, give me the cash. But I decided that I don't, I told her that um, I'll find the cash um, in another bank. And then after that I, I left. But isn't it crazy that they make you feel like a criminal withdrawing your own money, trying to withdraw your own cash from your own bank account. When the money is in there, and it's just, it's just crazy, you know? You should, tr you should test it yourself, go to your own bank, um, try to draw a big large amount of money see what they say um, There shouldn't have to be a reason for withdrawing money really, but they always they, they ask for a reason But that shouldn't have to be the case, you know It's like they're keeping Your money from you They let you withdraw little amounts of it from the ATM, but that's, that's not enough in case you need more, you know how, but it just goes to show that owning gold and silver will be a big lifesaver if you have, if you need cash on hand. And in case of a uh, bank collapse, I know that the bank is insured up to eighty-five thousand pound per account, but still, that's that's a guarantee by the government, and the, the government doesn't always stick to their stick to their. Uh, guarantees and who wants to be stuck in a fiat currency system anyway so anyway guys uh thanks for watching please hit the like button and the subscribe button and i'll see you in the next video